Moving on, the red versus saffron war is escalating in Kerala. Just days after the BJP's Janraksha Yatra, the left has now announced a counter campaign in Kerala. Kerala Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan will kickstart the anti BJP campaign today and will be joined by not just the LDF but the CPM leaders as well. The statewide march from Tiruvananthapuram in south and Kasdar Kod in north will be led by the CPI and CPIM. Respectively, the rally will culminate on the 3rd of November in Kochi. The left and the BJP have been locked in a war of protests and a war of words for the past few months over political killings in Kerala. While the BJP alleges that BJP and RSS workers are being brutally killed by left workers in Kerala, the left alleges similar barbarity against the RSS. My colleague Gopi Krishnan now joins me live from Tirumarandapuram on this story. So the daggers are drawn, Gopi. How is it looking in terms of the support that the Chief Minister and the CPM will receive for this anti-BJP rally that he will be leading from the front today in Tiruvannandapuram? Well, it's in fact the CPM and the left parties are giving BJP a test of their own medicine because immediately after the Jandaksha Yatra, which was led by the BJP, concluded in Tirubanthapuram, the CPIM and the left parties have decided to conduct a counter rally, which they name as the Janajagrata Yatra, which basically means to create awareness among the people about the anti-people. Uh, and the, about the anti-people policies of the central government and, and, and the attempts by the BJP and RSS parties to incite violence in Kerala. And this particular yatra will be kicked off from two points simultaneously because the uh, because at the uh, because the southern leg of the yatra will be uh, led by CPI state leader Kanam Rajendran, and this yatra will be flagged off by Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan in Tiruvannamalai today. Uh, today evening and on the other hand the northern leg of the yatra which is starting from manjeshwar in kasargod which is uh, sharing borders with karnataka will be uh, will be actually led by the cpim state secretary kodiyeri balakrishnan and this yatra will be flagged off by the cpi national leader d raja both these uh, yatras is expected to cover uh, is expected to co is cover 140 uh, constituencies in, in the in the state and finally, they will culminate uh, in November 3rd in Kuchi because the uh, southern yatra will will cover the southern the southern district, and the northern yatra will be covering the northern district and constituencies. And both these yatras will finally culminate uh, on November 3rd in Kuchi. And CPIM and and CPI both uh, right. sense this as an op will take this as an opportunity to create awareness among the people and spread their message of people-friendly measures by the state government. At the same time, they will also uh, try to uh, Absolutely. Great awareness among the people on how the state, uh, how the central government have been dealing with people. Absolutely. So the left versus the BJP war only escalating there on ground in Kerala. Gopi, thank you so much for those details. Now, Chief Minister Pinaray Vijayan took a dig at BJP President Amit Shah. Chief Minister Vijayan tweeted saying, quote, Delighted if BJP RSS leadership shifts their discourse from open threats about gorging eyes and hacking hands of opponents to ending violence, unquote. He also said the left accepted the BJP chief's challenge for debate on development and invited Amit Shah ji cordially. Slamming the BJP chief, Pinaray Vijayan asked, quote, who is backpedaling from the debate now and why? Unquote. Honorary President and various union ministers, he quoted, have not only admired but also expressed their respect towards the progress achieved by Kerala.